Now, joining us is somebody who I feel like we ought to just salute. Jim Tucker, sports writer, political writer for some of the biggest syndicates in the country. Old-fashioned gum shoes, semi-retired now, former editor of American Free Press. I'm still one of the editors there. Uh, and who's been shot at in Portugal and laughed at by the national media saying this, this guy believes there's an imaginary elite group meeting. He's got the only guy who's got real Bilderberg sources. He has predicted, not predicted, he, he's been proven to have the sources over and over again saying, Bush in one month will announce that he's for carbon taxes. No one believed it. Boom, happened. The Berlin Wall will fall in one year. Boom, happened. They will fire Margaret Thatcher in six months. Boom, happened. Over and over again. They will now lower gas prices from 150 to below 50. Boom, happened. And over and over again, the intel we get. Last year, they're going to start censoring the Internet. They're going to announce their bank of the world. Boom, that was the agenda. So nobody's got sources like Jim Tucker at AmericanFreePress.net. His biography available at AmericanFreePress.net is absolutely vital. Jim Tucker's Bilderberg Diary. Uh, and he joins us here today to give us as much inside scoop on the meeting normally that's in early June, uh, every four years generally in North America. Will it be in Maryland? Will it be in Virginia? Will it be in the East Coast of Canada? Or will it be in Chicago? We're going to get the latest intel from Jim Tucker with, uh, of course, Mark Anderson, uh, roving editor of AmericanFreePress.net, riding shotgun with us. Jim, good to have you with us. Well, we salute you, my friend. You're the real deal. How does it feel, and then we'll get the latest info, to be totally vindicated in royal flush fashion? Everything you've talked about for 35 years all come true. Oh, it feels good. I mean, what was it like talking about the New World Order and being laughed at, and now it's all in the open? Well, uh, I think I've told you this before, but my experience was... Uh, as you said, uh, uh, 30 years with uh, uh, major newspapers and smaller dailies, with uh, wire machines always ticking my ear, and I look at every piece of wire copy, not use it all, the newspaper can, but go through every piece of it, and not be aware of Bilderberg. So when I came to work for Liberty Lobby, the ancestor of American Free Press in 1975, I was asked what I thought about Bilderberg, and I thought he thought about <laughs> Jim, 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 let me interrupt you, which I'm famous for. You're a little too close to your phone. Can you back it off from your mouth a bit? It's a little distorted. Is this better? That's better. Go ahead, sir. All right. So uh, I was going to file a um, uh, very sketchy file at that time on Bilderberg, where the uh, late, great Westbrook Tegler had written two columns on uh, Bilderberg, although he did not know they called himself Bilderberg. 1957, off Jekyll Island, North Carolina. He got some telephone tips about uh, the island being sealed off, only limousines and helicopters landing. Helicopters is a brand new thing then. Uh, people give you a big black limousine and going into this uh, building that's guarded by uniformed cops uh, and armed play, uh, plain clothes type of uh, uh, cops, and not being like uh, Westbrook Tegger, uh, I mean, not being like uh, West, uh, Drew Pe Peterson, Drew Pearson, Drew Pearson, Westbrook Tegger actually flew down there to check out the story, and he got his binoculars and being a, he climbed a tall tree, being a world traveler, he could identify large numbers of international financiers, uh, heads of state from Europe, high officials, our state department, Department of Defense, uh, uh, high figure from the White House always there to inform, keep the president informed. President, uh, American president can attend like good here because every minute of their day is accounted for by the uh, press. So, uh, you know, two heavy colleges these uh, distinguished people uh, meeting in private. Why is there a secret? Why do they to make this very meeting itself uh, secret? If I got through with Westbrook Tecker, I was outraged I could be in the business for 30 years, and 
not know who Bilderberg is. And now you forced him to cover it. Uh, let's shift gears here. This is an election year. That's when they were last here four years ago. What is your latest intel? Because I know even for mid-level members, they're not told until a few weeks before, so you generally don't learn from your source until two weeks before or so. What is the intel you're getting so far, if any, Jim, on where the vaunted meeting is going to take place? Well, as soon as we uh, find out, we'll put it on our Facebook page. Uh, not, not wait for the newspaper. Uh, just uh, go to the Facebook page and get it the same day as we know. So far, uh, it's, it's extremely difficult. These sources have been so reliable for uh, the last uh, 15 and 20 years and being able to nail them because he is a Bilderberg quality. He's an international financier. Uh, and he's uh, talked to these people Hey, how tapped do you think your phone is? Oh, uh, well, uh, certainly it is tapped because I have an unlisted number. Uh, this is not published for de defensive reasons. And uh, people still call me and never been given the number. Or, uh, well, I've been told uh, it's tapped. Well, you found bugs in your hotel room. You've been shot at. That, that was Portugal when they shot at you, correct? Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. In fact, I remember when I checked into uh, a little town with the first being about 40 miles from Atlanta. And, uh, of course, I always take the cheapest room possible. It's always a smoking room. Uh, save the company money. And I was all settled in. Getting ready to settle in, pulling pull my other pair of socks out of the drawer, then uh, they came down to me and said, oh, uh, we put you in the wrong room. Your, your room is 135, not 125, or whatever. So I, I trot down there. And, uh, and uh, after about an hour or so, uh, lunch and newspapers uh, rolled back. I had a message to call uh, somebody, but to use a public phone, not my phone. So I, I called this guy who's been a, a with the CIA for a lot of years and was now a good friend of, and champion of exposing Bilderberg. Uh, I called him and said, uh, your phone is uh, tapped. Uh, so, uh, so is your chair. You can pull the uh, microphones out of your chair. But leave them on the boat itself so they'll think it's, uh, that you're completely bucked. But always remember, when you're on that phone, uh, somebody's listening. Incredible. Now, we've got uh, Mark Anderson riding shotgun. Pop in any time. Mark, you've got points you want to make. So you have no intel right now on where it's going to be is what you're saying, uh, Jim? Yes, and as soon as we do, we'll tell you. Well, what do you think of them saying it's going to be... Haifa over in Israel because, I mean, isn't it always every four years in North America or do they ever break with that sometimes? I'm not going to be able to confirm anything about this Israel thing. Uh, I kind of doubt it, but I'm still trying to check it out. Uh, what does your gut tell you? I mean, if they're going to be having uh, the uh, G8 summit at Camp David and they're going to be having NATO in Chicago, I mean, don't they like to be in the U.S. when there's a big election every four years? Uh, they don't always tell it uh, to elections because uh, their orders are carried out anyway. Uh, they own both horses of two horse race. Ever since, uh, until, ever since and after Richard Nixon, every president, after Richard Nixon has been a member of the Trilateral Commission, the junior varsity, before becoming president or, or vice president. So, in both parties. So, uh, they always own, as I said, those horses of two horse race. Sure. Let me raise this point. Mark Anderson, are you still there? Yeah, I, I can chime in any time. I, I do think that the every four years presidential race is a pretty good barometer. And I think that uh, despite all their pseudo sophistication, these people are somewhat predictable. 
I'd say it's a high likelihood it'll be in North America this year, although not guaranteed. Um, they trotted out Bar uh, Barack Obama in 08 and, you know, got their imprimatur on him. I believe back in the early 90s, they also trotted out the obscure Arkansas Governor Bill Clinton and said, will he do? Can we put him in the White House? And everybody nodded and said, sure, uh, a little gamey, but we'll go with him and all that. And so, uh, you know, they do have to get somebody uh, lined up for president that will get the nod of these chess players. Just like Gordon Brown or, 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 or Tony Blair or any of them or Von Rumpy of the EU. What about this, Jim? What about this point uh, that a lot of times you know about trilateral commission meetings would have happened or Bilderberg steering? Uh, do you have any intel on the last steering meeting and what is front and center on their agenda right now? Last time you got a snapshot, uh, can you give us that data point? What's on their agenda? Uh, yeah. uh, you, Jim. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, their agenda remains uh, a war with Israel, uh, with uh, spending uh, mostly American money and uh, shedding mostly American blood in a backup type of thing. So uh, I get, uh, uh, I think this uh, Iran leader is a, is a bloody handed uh, threat so we can go to war. But the good news is they are failing miserably as they have for the last several years. They've been uh, trying to get this war going now for, well, since last Bilderberg meeting. And they're failing mis miserably because there's a uh, uh, growing public awareness. As I said before, last year in uh, Switzerland, we had 1,200 people there. 200 of them were reporters, either broadcast reporters or newspaper reporters. And uh, uh, it, drove them, it drove them wild. And because the uh, American patriots are uh, very good about calling and writing their senators and congressmen, now no senator or congressman dares go for political reasons. Uh, he won't say, well, oh, he'll tell, tell frankly, he'll tell his uh, Bilderberg, but it's why he can't go. But uh, the reason he can't go is because of some calls he'll get. People say, I'll not vote for you. I'll never vote for you again. And then their elections get closer. We've had a couple of upset elections as a result. The Tea Party is going strong as a result. And uh, American Patriots is All right, so people are really waking up. Jim, how long do you think you're going to continue? to be able to, you know, c cover Bilderberg, because you've done such an incredible job over the years. I mean, you've said in the past you'll never stop, and I was talking to Mark. He said that you're healthier and got more energy than ever. Well, I'm doing uh, fine. I just carry this cane long because I'm a freelance song and dance man. <laughs> so you're carrying a cane now, huh? Well, for the last two years, in uh, fact, it has a lot of strange benefits. When you go into the airport, uh, in the section where they uh, they bike cripples in, in a very short line called their cripples. They give you a wheelchair, they push you around, you tell them where your gate is, they know exactly where to go, you don't have to uh, blow up escalators. Do you like the TSA groping? Well, what's that? You know how the TSA now likes to stick their hands down people's pants. What do you think of that? Uh, they put me outside with my pants. So you don't like it, yeah. <laughs> because uh, one expense we should undertake is to get some toilet train litter uh, guards at the airport. The, uh, they pay $8 an hour now, which is uh, below the minimum wage in most states. So they get uh, these illiterate donkeys. And illiterate donkeys are more likely to try to uh, grab a wood Well, it's all part of teaching us. You know, the, the, the TSA is caught running sex rings, pedophile rings. I mean, what do you expect? Uh, Jim, anything else you think that we should know that's really important coming up? Anything you want to impart to the audience? And the same thing to Mr. Anderson. Well, uh, certainly I want to say 
do not let up. We have been winning. We should celebrate our victories. Uh, but not be so overconfident that victory turns into defeat. Let's never stop telling the uh, our American politicians and State Department people and, and other major departments like uh, Defense and Treasury. Well, yeah, because exposure is only one part of the equation. We've got to keep exposing and then demand justice. What do you think of Corzine stealing millions and getting away with it publicly? I'm um, uh, very unimpressed. I mean, you can be uh, uh, smart, but you can also be uh, criminally smart. Now, both of you are going to be there this year, regardless if it's in Europe or if it's in Timbuktu or if it's in the United States or Canada. Both of you are going to be there? Yes. It, it would seem so. Uh, you know, of course, that's always predicated on uh, resources providing, you know, provided we have the resources to do so. Like any other news organization, things are kind of lean. But uh, I'll just add, because I've got to cut out here, but I'll just add that um, Nicholas Burns told a uh, Chicago Council on Global Affairs audience last night that, uh, uh, you know, reconstituting and uh, redefining NATO is a huge thing. And they want to move to the Pacific Rim in Asia and then contain China as another big thing and team up with Australia and New Zealand. And a huge thing is the Trans-Pacific Partnership. Absolutely. Well, listen, I want to say bye to both of you off air here in just a moment. Uh, but I want to thank Jim Tucker. I want to thank Mark Anderson, AmericanFreePress.net. You can find their uh, Facebook. Mark, on the top of your head, what's the Facebook address for American Free Press? Uh, I actually don't know. Hey, it's all right. It's, it's linked up on the website, and, and we'll, right. we'll find out during the break and plug it after the break. Our site's InfoWars.com. We say bye to both of you right now.